she was in labor for six days. After the baby was out, they said that you have damage to your bladder. So go to Hargeisa or go to Addis Ababa. No repairs of the fistula attempted. The fistula is like a hole inside the vagina that goes right the way through to the rectum. Or it can come the other way, through the vagina to the urethra. A fistula is one of the most humiliating things that can happen to a person. They're incontinent and they have feces coming out of their vagina. People become very unkind and sometimes hold their noses when they're going past these women. They're basically hiding, trying to keep themselves as clean as they possibly can. Very often she is ostracized and kicked out of her family because of the smell and this leakage. It makes these women lose hope and respect for themselves. You can see that she has torn urethra. You see that the urethra? Yes. Yeah, it's torn. The bladder is torn, the urethra is torn. Torn vagina. She had six normal deliveries. Baby number seven is the one that caused this. This is Dr. Ambaya, who is our specialist, and this is the second time Dr. Ambaya is operating in this hospital. 34 in the last camp yeah. that you did? Yes, 34. 34 women yeah. in the last camp, yeah. And, what and was all successful. She has a very bad kind of fistula. Thank you. This urethra is supposed to be like this, but hers just looks like this one. It's torn. It's torn. There is another hole to the bladder like this, and the bladder is completely detached from the torn urethra. Thank you. So what I did is I just mobilized this, dissect it and bring it forward, and then clean this area, and then connect this one with this one. Just like this, repaired and then this is closed again. It's quite a, it's complicated for the medical person to explain, but this is what I did. Thank you very much. Are you tired? A little bit, yes. <laughs> when they're repaired, and they stand up for the first time, they keep looking at the bed to see if it's damp, if there's a leakage. They're always so conscious of the smell and the wetness. And it takes them a couple of days to really believe and trust in themselves that they're not leaking anymore. You have to give us a letter to say how long they should not be meeting up with their husbands again. Or, and the doctor will give them a, that in writing. So the wound has time to heal. This is what I want to do, you know, there is nothing better than seeing a patient crying because they are cured, you see, they, they, they cry when they are cured, so you can understand what this means for them. She had sustained the lacerations of fistula two years, two years ago. And she heard on the radio that in the Edna Hospital they were going to do repair of the fistula free of charge. And she came here and she was put on the list. She was operated. She's going home. She has to remember to have the baby by C section. Yeah? Okay. Good. I'm happy. She's happy. She's beautiful. I'm happy. There's a life, a woman who's got her life back. Okay, okay. Allah back. That's good. They look different when they're lying down. You know, when they're standing up, and uh, you know, when they're lying down, they're sick, they're worried. 
And then when I see them, she, I didn't recognize her in the corridor. She stopped me and said, thank you. I'm going home today. I want to thank you. That's what life's all about. <sighs> thank you.